Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here, uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking through a couple player props I like on prize picks for tonight's NBA slate on Thursday, March the 28th. Uh, now we have just a two-game slate tonight, so uh, obviously there's not going to be a ton of props to like when we only have two games on the slate, but I still wanted to come on give you guys a couple plays I did like for tonight's slate. I uh, just got two picks I'm going to give out. I do have a prop that I like from each game. So we'll talk about a prop that I like in the Celtics-Hawks game, and then we'll talk about a prop that I like in the uh, the Pelicans and Bucks game. So two plays. We're going to talk through these plays, uh, share why I like them. Before we do get started, though, guys, as always, if you guys do enjoy these prize picks videos, if they do help you out, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet, and if you guys are new to prize picks, and if you don't have an account over on prize picks, you can sign up linked down below in the description or just use that promo code NOAH. When you sign up for prize picks, you'll get your first deposit matched up to $100. Um, and I do also want to shout out Sleeper because we do have a partnership with Sleeper as well. You guys can sign up for Sleeper, linked down below in the description, or again, just use that promo code NOAH, and you'll get your first deposit matched up to $500 over on Sleeper. Now, if you don't know what Sleeper is, they are a DFS pick'em app similar to prize picks. Really simple, really easy to use. Uh, you just pick over or under on player projections. You build out an entry. You can make up to an 8-pick entry on Sleeper. You can win up to 100x your money. Sleeper does offer a lot of the major sports like NBA, uh, MLB, which does start up today. We'll talk about MLB in a second. Um, but, you know, you can do MLB, NBA, NHL, uh, college basketball, college football, you know, NFL. All that stuff is available on Sleeper. Um, Sleeper does, you know, give out a lot of discounts throughout the week. They do free squares for all new users. So it's definitely a cool site to play on. If you guys do want to check them out, again, use that code NOAA. When you sign up, and you'll get your first deposit matched up to five hundred dollars. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the the props I like for today, guys. Now, before we do, I do want to recap our three plays that we gave out in Wednesday's video. So, of the three picks we gave out Wednesday, we did hit two out of the three. Unfortunately, we could not get the full sweep. I wanted the full sweep, but Scoo Henderson, uh, he let us down Wednesday. Uh, but we did hit on Jared Allen over thirty-seven and a half fantasy score. That hit. Relatively easily, I want to say Allen went over his fantasy score either like late in the third quarter, early fourth quarter. Uh, that was relatively sweat-free. And then we hit Miles McBride over 18.5 points plus assists. I think McBride went over that line literally in the first quarter. He came out he came out red hot in that game yesterday. Uh, that was a sweat-free cash. But man, Scoot Henderson let us down. We took him over 24 points plus assists. He did not have a great game yesterday. Um, he was turning the ball over a bunch. I watched a lot of that game. He had 15 points and six assists, but he shot like, I want to say he shot like six for 16. He had like six turnovers. Just a really sloppy game from Scoot. But we got some really good value on that line, that, that 24 points plus assist line, because after DeAndre Ayton got ruled out, uh, his points plus assist line actually got bumped up to 27 and a half. We were able to grab it at 24 Unfortunately, we still lost, and that's something that's happened to me so much this season. Can't tell you how many times I've gotten like really good CLV on a prop, and I've still lost. It's been so frustrating, um, and I really felt good about that Scoot play yesterday, but Scoot kind of played terribly, turned the ball over a bunch. He was in foul trouble, too, which didn't help. Um, but yeah, we still hit two out of the three plays we gave out on Wednesday. Hopefully, you guys were able to make some money. Let's talk through the two picks I'm liking for uh, today's NBA slate. So, um, we only got a two-game slate. Like I said earlier, we do have MLB starting up today. Um, and I do want to mention that you know I do cover MLB content. Um, I did MLB content last season. I typically don't do MLB content, though, on YouTube until after the NBA season. Just because when NBA is going on, that's something that you know gets a lot of traction and a lot of focus from people. Usually MLB content doesn't do very well until like after NBA is over with. So for now, you know, I don't, I want, I don't want to say this is set in stone, but for now, my plan is to just cover NBA content on YouTube until uh, the end of the season, and then we'll we'll start doing MLB content. Um, but I do give out MLB props. I will probably be giving out MLB props over on Patreon, especially on the days like today when we don't have a ton of NBA games. I'll definitely be sharing some MLB props over on Patreon. So if you guys want to check that out, as always, you can get additional props takes place for me over on Patreon, linked down below in the description. Every prop I give out over there, I give, uh, give a write-up for. Um, it's very you know, in-depth, kind of you know, give you some, some analysis behind you know, each prop that I choose, just like I do you know, in these YouTube videos. But yeah, let's talk through the two picks I'm liking for this two-game slate tonight, guys. First prop we're going to take a look at, going to be a points prop, and we're going to look at DeJounte Murray, 24 and a half points. We're going to be taking the under here on DeJounte Murray, so less than 24 and a half points. 
And this one, obviously, it's not going to make you feel great because, you know, DeJounte Murray right now, he does have a really, really big role. Obviously, there's still no Trey Young. There's no Jalen Johnson, no Sadiq Bey. And we've seen DeJounte Murray have, you know, some really big usage. He's had some big scoring games lately. But he did just face this Boston team, you know, just a couple of days ago. And Boston wasn't at full strength for that game. They didn't have Derek White. They didn't have Drew Holiday. Derek White's off the injury report today, so he's going to play. Drew Holiday could return for this game. He's listed as questionable. Those are by far the two best guard defenders on this Celtics team, White and Holiday. And if they're playing, you know, we know White's playing. If, if Drew winds up playing as well, this is going to be a really tough matchup for DeJounte Murray. Now, DeJounte Murray, he's going to have big usage. He's going to have a really big role. But the matchup's really tough here. It's the second night of a back-to-back -back for the Hawks. They're they're 16 and a half point, fa or excuse me, 16 and a half point or 15 and a half point underdogs in this game, even though Atlanta's playing at home here. They're 15 and a half point dogs. So, given that line, maybe maybe the books are expecting Atlanta to sit somebody today. I don't know, but a 15 and a half point spread here. There's a ton of blowout risk in this game. Last time these teams played, it was looking like a blowout. Um, I think Boston was up by like 30 heading into like the third quarter or you know, early third quarter, something like that, and then Atlanta just went on like a crazy run. Maybe, you know, this is the game Boston finally blows them out. You know, it looked like they were going to blow them out last game. Obviously, this Atlanta team, they're not at full strength right now. They're missing a lot of key guys. I could definitely see this game being a blowout, and if it does turn into a blowout, you know, DeJounte obviously would lose minutes. There's just so many things working against DeJounte here. Second out of a back-to-back. -back. He's been playing a ton of minutes lately. This could maybe be a spot where they, they lower his minutes a little bit. There's a ton of blowout risk in this game. It's a very, very tough matchup. Boston this season, second best defensive rating in the league. You know, we just saw these teams play not too long ago in a game where you know Atlanta scored like what? Atlanta scored 120 points against Boston you know, a couple days ago, and DeJounte only had 19 points. Like That just shows you how tough of a spot it is for DeJounte. So I like the under on 24.5 points here. Um, if we do look at sportsbook odds right now, DK Sportsbook, they're favoring the under on this prop around minus 130. Same for Pinnacle. Pinnacle has this line around minus 130, minus 135. So give me the under on 24 and a half points for DeJounte Murray as our first prop for tonight. And then the other prop that I like to pair with that, going to the Bucks and um, the Bucks and Pelicans game, we're going to look at CJ McCollum, 30 and a half PRA, like the over here for CJ McCollum. And let's talk through why I like this uh, CJ McCollum prop. So Really want to highlight the last three games for CJ McCollum because those have all been without Brandon Ingram. And Brandon Ingram, you know, he's going to be out, I think, for like a couple weeks or so. So without Brandon Ingram, we should continue to see CJ McCollum have a really big role. Um, and if you look at what he's done this season without Brandon Ingram, in the eight games he's played without Ingram, he's gone over this PRA line in six out of eight games. And two of the, the two games he went under... One, the one game one game he went under, he had 30 PRA against Golden State, so he, he lost by the hook. And then the other game where he went under this PRA line was against Miami, and it was a game where he got injured and only played the first half. He only played 15 minutes in that game. So the two games that McCollum went under this PRA line without Brandon Ingram this season, one game he lost by the hook and had 30. The other game he only played the first half, he got injured. In the other full games, though, he's gone over this PRA line. Uh, obviously, last three games, he's had 34, 32, and 42 PRA. He had 40 PRA against Houston, 42 against Detroit, 45 against OKC. And then uh, back on, you know, back in October, October 30th, without Ingram, he had 30 PRA against Golden State. But, like, if you look at the usage that McCollum has had, like, he is, he's been a, you know, much bigger offensive threat with Ingram off the floor. Like, McCollum has been very passive this season. He has not been a, you know, big-time scorer. But if you look at the last three games without Brandon Ingram, he has really upped his shot volume. 21 shot attempts against Miami, 18 against Detroit, 24 against OKC. He's also been playing a ton of minutes, 35 minutes against Miami, 37 against Detroit, 41 minutes against OKC. This game against Milwaukee, it should be competitive. I think right now the spread is like, yeah, one and a half point spread. So in a game like this that projects to be close, we're going to see CJ McCollum play 35, 36 minutes. He's had a much bigger role without Brandon Ingram this season. He's picked up a lot of usage with Ingram off the floor. His assist numbers have also spiked without Ingram, which, you know, obviously, you know, that's something we're betting on here. We want him to get assists. We want him to score. And this is a matchup where he should be able to do that. This is a really good spot against Milwaukee. Milwaukee has been a great matchup all season for opposing guards. And if you look at what they're allowing to the point guard position um, in terms of, like, points per game, you know, rebounds, assists, stuff like that, uh, they're giving up the second most points per game 
two opposing point guards. They've been about middle of the pack in terms of rebounds allowed to point guards. And then Milwaukee uh, also been about middle of the pack in terms of assists allowed to the point guard position. But definitely, like, scoring-wise, we've seen a lot of you know point guards have big scoring games against the Bucks here. I think this is a spot where C.J. McCollum should, you know, be able to score relatively easily. If you look at his points prop, like that line is currently set at 21 and a half. I don't mind taking the over on that as well. Um, if you want to do that, um, I think that looks pretty good too. I like both these props. Right now on DK Sportsbook, this, the over on 30 and a half PRA, it's pretty heavily juiced towards the over. So I think that's why I prefer the PRA instead of points. Because um, if you look at like what McCollum has done in terms of rebounds and assists, like he's been getting rebounds and assists. 12 against Miami, 9 against Detroit, 11 against OKC. I think that's the reason I prefer the the PRA instead of just points. But I think both these are pretty good. I like both these props. I like this matchup a lot for CJ McCollum. Love what I've seen from him without Brendan Ingram this season. And you know, we should continue to see you know, McCollum have a really big role, play big minutes, and you know, pick up a lot of usage with uh, Ingram off the floor. So that's what I'm liking for tonight, guys. A little bit of a quicker video, but... Um, obviously, there was only two games, so there's not going to be too much to talk about tonight. I'm sure we'll be back with a much bigger slate tomorrow. Um, but as always, I do appreciate you guys watching these Prospects videos, supporting the Prospect content. Hit that like button down below if you guys did enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. Be sure to go check out Prospects as well. If you're not signed up for Prospects yet, use that code NOLA. When you sign up, get your first deposit matched up to $100. Uh, but good luck tonight, guys. Thanks for watching as always. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.